What is going on, boys? Today, I have an interesting trip. I got a 10 hour that's catch and release with some people from Britain? England? I don't know. It is absolutely freezing outside. So, I don't really know. It's a weird thing. So, I'm just going to target giant grouper all day because we got to throw everything back, anyways. I am going to troll for like 15 minutes. See if I can't catch a Wahoo. So, next time you see me, We'll either be pulling on a Wahoo or a Cooter or something, or uh, we'll be bottom fishing. So, see you guys offshore. Okay, Wahoo didn't exactly work out, but uh, I made them have a little amendment to their throwback rules. They want to keep a Mahi, a Wahoo, or if we catch an African pompano, I'm going to make you guys keep it too. It's an incredible fish and it tastes tastes better than both of them i think but uh yeah we're bottom fishing i think we got i think we got a lot of jacks in this spot that's what it looks like right here get him bubba oh the red snapper no, 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 no. oh here there you go hold him tight hold your right hand tight that way bud that is the definition of a perfect catch and release targeted fish right there that's a big one bud first fish of the day pretty good start right there red snappers are biting white nice Red snapper, what? Can you believe it? We got a four on right now? Possibly. It's probably a red snapper. These things are on fire. Mm -hmm. Red snapper on the slow pitch. Bull nosed them. Things are fired up. There you go. You lost yours? Still no, got a triple. Oh, okay. There you go. Nice. Four of them. Another, another double for Sam. Monsters. Back you come. And another, another red snapper. I think we got a red snapper bite going right now. Got a triple hookup right here. Three brothers, yeah. Three brothers putting in work. Nicely done, sir. Double, woo! <laughs> Two at a time, baby. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Nice work. Finally, another species. This is called a white bone porgy. It's in the same family as a sheep's head, and they're very, very good to eat. So today's his lucky day. He's going back. Has he got teeth? Uh, yeah, he does. He's got some little chompers. They're not like the um, sheep. No, 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 not quite like that. Can I take a picture of the fish? Yeah, a white bone. First one we could get past the red snapper. There you go, cycle's broken. Well, there you have it right there. That was our first not red snapper. It's ridiculous how well these things are biting right now. We can't even get, I try to get the grunts. I tried to catch some grunts and put some squid straight on the bottom. I can't even get past the red snapper for those. It's ridiculous how fired up these things are. Red snapper going. Good thing they're closed. There you go. Yeah, get him, bud. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, boy. That's a man set up, too. That's a heavy, heavy, heavy rod. You do, he's doing well with it. Kick some tail there, Sam. Can Yeah. You got the camera. Yeah. That's not big. It's not big. I respect that. I respect that. How dare... You try to take a picture of a small fish. Yeah. We're waiting for the whoppers. Well, I'm going to the front. <laughs> Got a double, double B-liners. These things are biting. Look how pretty these are. These things are so fired up. What in the world? They are. You, I don't think I've ever seen them as lit up as these things are. This is pretty rare here for Jacksonville. Except from that orange. Yeah, yeah. It's really, it really doesn't happen so here. Yeah, golly, this thing is so lit up. Wow. That's really cool. There's no limit on those. Right? There is. It's 12 inches, five per person. All right, swing over here. Another Almaco. Right, be careful with these two hooks if you're trying to say we'll swing around and get you. Alamac, Alamac, small one. What you got over there? Oh, it's a big beeliner. Look how orange he is. That's so pretty. Wow, that thing's orange. It's like a deep water beeliner. Yeah. The orange right here, pretty colors. Woo! Beeliner's lucky day. Yeah, they're fun though. Another one. <laughs> Woo! Alamaco! Beelers are biting really well. 
So you better not keep him. <laughs> He's gonna catch about 50 more. I think we'll be okay. They are fun. Right. Do they fight like fights? They fight a little harder. They are bruisers. The creator of many arm cramps. Beat hunters are on fire. Think you got another double? Maybe. Maybe. These things are going. And do you have a double? Nope. It's one solid one. Back you go. What's that? It is. They're one in the the, the beeliner lottery today. Oh yeah, Sam! Woohoo! Get him! Turn the handle, bud. You gotta turn the handle. Bruiser Almaco. Woo! Come more cranks. You got him. Nice. Alamax and beeliners are on fire. Oh. Double legal worms. Oh, there goes one. Bruh. Okay, you gotta turn the handle. You gotta turn the handle. There you go. Keep just turning the handle. Just turn the handle. All right, stop reeling. Big Jack. Giant Almaco. Sam called it. That's a stud right there. That's a 20, 25 pound Almaco. That's a good one there, bud. Oh. Nice work. Oh. Wow. Woo. Feel in there, there, you'll feel like a little oh, handle. Know. You feel it? Well, They're holding tight. World-class Almaco. But you want to stand up? No. <laughs> World-class Alaco, nice work, James. <laughs> Pretty guy. All right, let's get him released, head first. Thank you, sir. Woo! Nice work. You know, Jack's alive. What do we got? It is... Triggerfish. Yeah. Triggerfish. Nice. Yeah, I'm a picture of that. Hold on. Be really careful with his mouth. Hold him like this. Do not get your hands near his mouth because those things will take a chunk out of you. Just hold it like this. Hold it right here. Oh, you don't yeah. worry about it. Nice. What you got there? Yeah. Another bee liner. Uh huh. It's a good eating right there. And that's eating. Is it? Yes. You know why they're called trigger fish? No, Try to push that down right there. Sam, it's not going to hurt you or anything. Here, more than one finger. Push it down hard. Hard. Harder, harder. You have to put some effort into it. Go, push, 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 push. Push hard. There you go. Ooh, that's not why, but <laughs> push that one right there. That's his trigger. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's throwing up. He's all right. Off he goes. Nice work. That was funny. He had a, he had a blowout. That's not why. <laughs> what you got, Bubba? Mondo triggers? Oh. Uh, yeah, it's it's not trigger. It's not a trigger fish. It's two trigger fish. Actually, you got double trigger. Golly, these things are chewing. Oh my. Goodness. Whoo! That's a stud. Whoa! Oh my God! Yes. Wow! Double triggers. Right, Sam, let me take one with you. Are they usually that big? Sam, Sam, no, Sam. this is a gigantic one. Inshore trigger fish. It was about as big as they get for in here. Hold on, hold on, hold them right here. Yeah. It's gorgeous. Nice work, Sam. Out of way. That's a monster trigger. Stud bee liner. Nice. Biggest one so far. Yeah. Oh, Rodney. Doing work. Rodney the rod holder. Another trigger fish. Trigger, a trigger, a trigger. Actually, actually oh. yeah. Actually a trigger. Nice work, Sam. Off the bottom now, a little shoulder support here. <laughs> I told you that thing's hard to turn the handle on, yeah? <laughs> he's got some power. What we got, Big Jack? Looks like it. Keep on reeling. Okay. 
Alrighty, stop reeling. Oh my goodness! Right. Look at the size of this red snapper! Oh my god! Oh That's a tournament winner! <laughs> Thing's gigantic! Wow! <laughs> wow! Yeah, bro. Yeah! Wow! That thing is huge! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a beautiful red snapper. Yeah, push it out a bit. Try it. His arms are hurting after that one. Nicely done, Ben. Yeah, we're gonna measure him. This is a huge red snapper. This is gigantic. 34 inches. It's not the biggest. Of, oh, yeah, no, it's not the biggest I've ever seen, but it's it's pretty pretty dang big. I haven't seen the one this big in a long time. Gonna revive them. Oh, there he goes. Nice. There you go. Woo! A rod bender. Might be a might be another uh, Amberine or Almaco too, or two. It might be two trigger fish as well. Left as quick as they came. Like monster trigger. Look at the sun. It's another monster. Look at that. Look at that monster. Oh my goodness. Freaking trash can lid right there, hubcap. Look at that tombstone. That is wild. Nice work, man. Wow. That's a gargantuan. That's a giant trigger. They don't get a lot bigger than that. Oh, yeah, they're gnarly. Gnarly chompers. Those things will take chunks out of you for sure. It's a good fish to try. So, that's like, that's kind of a fish that. Everybody I know that doesn't like fish, they still eat trigger fish. Okay. Yes. So it's definitely, that's definitely a fish to try. Delicious. Okay, so they were nice enough to give me a trigger fish, even though they're doing catch and release. They ended up keeping um, a really big trigger fish and one bee liner themselves to try it out. Uh, so I'm lucky I get to have a fish to eat. I am going to cook it whole and take the skin off. And I know uh, Gabe and Kelly just did that with me, but. I have an excuse because I have several whole sea bass I'm gonna put on a green egg tonight as well. So I'm gonna keep the whole fish thing going and try this. Also, I've never tried this before. So we have a trigger fish. I've never done this before. So this is kind of a adventure that we're going on together. But I think my plan is to first gut it and then kind of cut, cut around the edges right here and I guess rip it off, the rip the skin off. So we'll see how this goes. Right. I've never gutted a trigger fish before. That's one thing about these, when we commercial fish form is so nice that this is the only fish that we don't have to gut. So <clears throat> it's a big uh, bonus for us that when we catch a bunch of these, it, you know, makes our, workload much less because we can just throw them right in the box and just pack them instead of gutting them and you always insert with these trigger fish with the knife upside down because it is impossible to cut through this armor plated skin that they have all right this one has really pretty blues on it there you go, bro. All right, let's try this. I wish I had pliers for this. Oh. Yeah, I wish I had pliers for this. Oh. Wow. I guess cut through this fin. I'm cutting this fin. 
seems to want to get stuck right here. a lot easier than I thought it would be actually but uh yeah this is kind of the idea so these trigger fish you know have really really strong jaws and giant you know cheek muscles just like that there's a ton of meat right here in the face and uh I'm excited to see how it goes so I'll see you guys in the kitchen or on the grill all righty so trigger fish one of the better more popular eating fish Triggerfish is a fish that if you don't like getting fish, you, uh, you'll still like it. Uh, I know several people that don't eat fish at all, but they will eat triggerfish. So everybody loves triggerfish. Everybody loves Chick-fil-A. That makes sense. That gave me this idea, definitely. Not because I have extra Polynesian sauce. I'm going to uh, coat this with Polynesian sauce, a little Cajun two-step cayenne and some salt, and uh, I'm gonna smoke it. I just bought a smoker. Um, I couldn't afford a Traeger. I would really like to call this thing a Traeger fish. Traeger fish, you know, I call everything weird names, but it's not a Traeger fish today. It's a master whatever. Or if you want to, uh, you know, sponsor content, 15,000 subs, big time, send me a smoker Traeger, please. So I'm just going to coat this bad boy up. Do, 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 do. Ooh, okay, well, kind of is. A little cayenne to make things, give it a little bit of spice. Sweet and spicy. And then some salt. I'm gonna throw it in the smoker. Okay, so I'm cooking it at 200. I read on the interwebs that you're supposed to leave the vent open and cook it like 45 minutes to an hour per pound. So I'm gonna put this in for three hours, see how it goes. Is this even gonna fit on the rack? Oh gosh, I did not prepare for this. Oh, yep, I'm just gonna close the door on its tail. See how it goes in a couple hours all right so i smoked it at a pretty low temp for about three and a half hours and we're about to pull it see how it looks Let's see here looking pretty good looks done to me smells really good Ooh, foggy lands nice let's pull it and try it out okay looks pretty good Lots of cheek meat right there. I'm going to try that first. But it uh, looks pretty solid. I'm going to try this cheek. Never had trigger cheek before. Yeah, it's still really, really moist. Looks really, really good. God, it's a big chunk of meat. Polynesian sauce. Polynesian sauce? Yeah. I don't know. I'm a Chick-fil-A sauce guy, so I don't ever use... I've, this is one of the first times of me eating um, that sauce. So, here we go. Chick-fil-A trigger. This is, I'm not even joking. Not even for the like joke that I use Chick Fil A sauce. That legitimately tastes like a piece of really moist chicken. That's really funny. That's really weird. I'm, I don't know why. If it's because I smoked it or it's, it tastes like smoked chicken that you get at like Bono's. That's really funny. Let's try some of this right here. Ooh, look at that just peeling all off. Pretty solid, pretty solid stuff right there. I do say I do like triggerfish um, blackened better, but you know, I wanted to try this whole fish thing out and uh, it turned out pretty well, it's pretty dang good. Well guys, I just picked through this entire triggerfish and got all the meat off. This is ridiculous. Uh, this is a ridiculous yield for 
for triggerfish. Triggerfish are known to be a low yield fish compared to their size, but like, look at this. Like all this stuff that was in its face and here and their cheeks and uh, and their rib cage, that's all meat. Like there's so much wasted meat on triggerfish. Really kind of opens your eyes to how much meat you waste when you don't cook a fish whole. That's a ton of meat. But guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to come fish with me, go to teambuckrogers.com for more details. Guys, if you like this video, please subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.